We're trying to come up with non-drug approaches to treat really nasty diseases. So obesity, diabetes, osteoporosis, these are really scary diseases that basically become sinister over decades. And it's very difficult to think of drugs that might treat or prevent these diseases over decades without perhaps causing complications along the way. So my research is, is looks at how mechanical signals, those sorts of signals that might come from exercise, and how they regulate the musculoskeletal system, specifically bone and muscle. Essentially what we found more recently is that they influence the fate of stem cells. These are cells that have the ability to differentiate into many different cell types. They live in the bone marrow and they actually become very, very important in the etiology or in the process of diabetes and obesity. One of the great things about this obesity study is that we get to use the low intensity vibrations to look also at the immunological health of these mice. We've now very, very recently shown that these mechanical signals can rescue or recover T and B cells, which are really, really critical to the immune system. Low intensity means that the signal is barely perceptible by human touch. So if I actually turn on the plate and put my fingers on the, on the plate, it's a signal so gentle that even the mice won't move that much uh, afterwards. When you run down the street, you're basically loading up your bones. Your muscles are applying force and they're reacting against the ground. So when we talk about low intensity vibrations, what we're doing is trying to create a surrogate for exercise by only incorporating or putting those small mechanical signals back into the system. You know, we're really interested in obesity and diabetes. We think that these are mechanical signals that are important as surrogates for exercise. So if you can think of how exercise helps you or helps the health of society, these are potential applications for uh, maybe slowing down the progression of these disease conditions.